Hey guys, and welcome to the archaeology tutorial. Uh, this is where you start off if you teleport here. It's basically the Varrock dig site, uh, just a little south of it in the archaeology campus. You start by talking to this acting guildmaster here, and uh, he will talk you through and pretty much show you the entire way through the skill and what you have to do for the skill. Uh, there are a few icons on the map there that should be enabled by default uh, that you can look at uh, that will include your dig sites, your screening sites, um, places to buy tools, collectors, uh, and workbenches. Which you go to all of those in these tutorials. So you get handed a bronze mattock uh, and you can just left click that one and it will pop straight onto your tool belt. And then you'll get told to just go up to this little dirt patch just a little bit north here um, and start uncovering that. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be level 5 uh, in archaeology if you follow exactly the tutorial and do nothing else. Um, but here, once you've uncovered the excavation, you just have need to actually excavate it. And that's where you'll slowly get materials. Um, sometimes it's soil, sometimes it is actual materials that you will use. Um, in this specific patch here, you're going to have to uh, discover 25 chunks of it, basically. And then once you complete the 25 parts, you get given the uh, artifact, basically, that you've discovered, and another level up. Um, so you can look at an artifact and you'll see what you need to fix it. If you scroll down on the left hand side there, uh, it shows you those materials. So we need five imperial iron and five purple heart wood. Uh, at the moment we have three of each of those, but if we talk to the acting guild master, um, he will give us some more soil. So the, the thing to do with soil is that you bring it over to a screening station and you screen it in the mesh here. Uh, and then that gives you the opportunity to potentially get um, materials out of it. So we have 10 soils here to screen in the hope that we get some material out. And we manage to get the rest of the material that we require uh, to restore our sword. We're lucky with materials, we're not going to have to hold on to all of it, uh, because next to each sort of workbench, there is a material storage container uh, that is magic. And once you interact with it, it'll show you. It'll show you that it has slots here to the left, uh, where you can just sort of deposit and withdraw materials as required. Um, and then once you're done with that, you can interact with the uh, archaeologist workbench. And because you have something that you can restore and the materials to do so, you can restore it. And you get a fairly big chunk of XP there and you level up to level 5. And you unlock a bunch of stuff at level 5. That's it for experience in the tutorial, but you can still learn more about the skill by coming back to the acting guildmaster. And he's going to let you know that you can sell these uh, artifacts that you uncover and restore. Luckily for us, there is a collector on site that we can just run on over and hand our artifact to. And here we see we're going to get the Mortal Cup as our reward. And that is exactly what we got. So we handed over our artifact and we got a Mortal Cup. And uh, we also got 100 Chronotes, sorry, 1000 Chronotes, which is sort of the currency for archaeology. Now we get to go show our Magical Cup to the Acting Guildmaster and he's going to show us what we can do with these. So these are uh, an item set called Relics, 
um, and when you have a relic what you have to do is you have to bring it to one of the monoliths. This monolith's sort of been sitting here at the Varok dig site for a little while and now we finally get to see what it's actually used for. So you interact with the monolith um, and basically what happens is you see a little bit of a cutscene where you die. Okay, you don't quite die. But uh, it accepts your relic uh, and then it presents you with a power. And in this case, the power we unlocked was the Font of Life, which increases your maximum health by 500. Um, and all you have to do is harness that power. And you can have three uh, relic powers active at one time. So you just pick what slot you want to put it in and activate it. You'll obviously get more relic powers as you go along, uh, as you get more relics, and as you interact with the monoliths more. But for now you can run on over here and talk to the acting guildmaster one last time, and he'll show you everything they have inside of this little uh, lovely hut. So there's a map, first of all, which basically lets you teleport to all of the various dig sites that came out with archaeology. We got a medic shop, so that we can uh, sell you all your tools you need. Some cool stuff over here that you can buy, but you're going to need some chronotes, uh, and you're also going to need to level up a little bit. Um, but there is a free thing called a soil box that you can pick up out of that shop at the moment, uh, which lets you store, I believe, 50 of each soil. Um, sort of like the ore box does, just saves you some inventory space basically. There's no reason to not pick it up. And then you get handed a journal as the final piece. And you get your certificate of qualification as an intern. And you'll obviously get more and more qualifications as you go. Uh, there is one last little piece left, this is the tutorial completed, but um, you will get teleported out to the desert and you can take a look at the second dig site. Uh, if you talk to the doctor here, he'll show you all of the things they have at the second dig site, play you a little cutscene and give you some lore. So I'm going to skip over that so that you can experience that lore on your own and that I don't spoil it for you. But once it's finished we got one or two more things still to show you about this skill. Alright, so after that lore you can uh, take a look at everything that you unlocked at level 5, including the dig site and the, the sort of relics that you can find. obviously got your archaeological soil box but you can also take a look at this journal so this journal shows you all of the achievements uh, as well as a bunch of other cool stuff it shows you what relic powers you currently have active on the right and once you've got the assistant qualification it'll show you the research team you can see all of the artifacts that you've uncovered including our sword which is in the miscellaneous category and you can also look at some some mysteries that you have yet to uncover or have uncovered as well as some special research, some field studies for you. Uh, there's multiple pages and multiple tabs on the right uh, for the different gods' cultures. And that goes for the mysteries as well. There is also uh, different gods' cultures on the right. Alright guys, thanks for coming along and watching this tutorial. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the archaeology uh, skill, and we'll see you in the next video.